introduction to networks. April um, 8th, and this is week 12, three weeks left. It was morning when we met. Talked about groups, course completion, reviewed those items. You can check previous whiteboard reviews, even though this is a blackboard behind here. Still call it a whiteboard review. We talked about ICMP, pinging, and testing. We looked at uh, pings and trace routes. And we talked about a little more sophisticated in IP version 6. IP version 6, uh, neighbor solicitation, and we talked about yeah, neighbor advertisement. We talked, and so these are devices talking to each other, and then we talked about router advertisement or a router solicitation, you know, a PC solicitates the router for some information and then the router can return the information to the PC and give it an address so we have this prefix the global prefix and the subnet and then we have the interface ID which we can use UAI 64 or we can select a random number to generate that. Then a default gateway is generated to the link local address. So that, <clears throat> yeah, so we talked a little bit here about communicating. The router can advertise or a device can solicit devices can solicit other devices and devices can advertise their information don't need to worry about that then we started talking about the transport layer DCP and UDP Transmission control protocol. Make sure it gets there. User datagram protocol. Just put it out there and let it go. All right. Here we go. We um, so I talked some more about TCP and UDP. We looked at the OSI model. Did a little review there. So we talked about data. Data coming down through the model. And the transport layer, which is what we're talking about here, <coughs> is how are we going to transport the data? Are we going to make sure it gets there? Or are we just going to send it? So like video streaming, just sending the information. Web page, make sure we get all of the data transmitted. Okay. So <clears throat> then we did a little review. Network layer, think about the path through any network cloud. And then network access. Okay, sometimes this is referred to well in the TCP IP model it's referred to as the internet. That's still referred to as the transport. Notice all these layers are referred to as the application in the TCP IP model. A little review. And then these two data link physically putting the bits either in the air, on fiber, on wire. But the data link layer is how do these things link together, like linking two routers together or the link between a switch and a router or we think of usually some device linked into a switch or maybe even an access point then we talked a little bit about 
court numbers and more about that next week tied to an application and then connected to an an IP so it's for both source and then destination and together those create a socket and I'm being pretty generic when I say that but at this point in your learning that's about all you would need okay so we are going to talk more about the uh, transport transport layer next time we meet I also mentioned um, some addressing here on the switches we're going to do a little bit more work on those routers and switches on Monday looking at IP4 and IP6 that's it